response you feel about you know what I'm saying casting the industry as far as these rap casting alone? What would you tell? What would be um, one of the messages as far as like just how they handle their business, how they deal with just different platforms and alone? I think they really need to use their common sense because it's like. Um, you know, they try to say the DJ don't exist, but every time they drop a new single, they got to come back to the streets. They got to get that reaction before they get on iTunes, Apple Music, um, all these platforms. And then another thing I don't, I don't understand is like, why would you waste money on a, 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 a plane ticket just to go to New York or LA to do an interview that's going to end up on YouTube? I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I think people need to really start using their common sense and, and really appreciate the platforms that's right here in the city. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter where you tell your story at, it's an untold story. Right. So, if you go to New York, LA, or wherever, to do an interview just to be on YouTube, it's like, you could've did that with the Dirty Boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could've did that with, with, with Be High. So basically, it's like, just just stop going. If, if Atlanta is such the, the big culture, don't go to other cities and other platforms to express your story. Help make that platform in your city bigger so when you need to come back, you know what I'm saying? People gonna show you much more love. I feel like it's even deeper with the interviews, though. Like, deeper than the interviews. Like, even when artists get popping, Atlanta's where you got popping at. Then when you get popping, you get up and you move to uh, L.A. Like, that don't make sense to me. And the music fall off. Be, yeah, be, ex exactly. You can't make no music in LA. Exactly. You well, not this type of music. You know, you know what, what I mean? No, nah, you can't make no music in New York. It's like, what What would... No disrespect to New York, because that's the home of hip-hop. And no disrespect to, to the West Coast, but it's like, where would New York and LA be without this Atlanta content? Where true, would they right? be? Right. You know what I'm saying? And then right. at one point, you know what I mean, the reason why those cities are so big with music is because they stayed in their hometown to boost up their exactly. hometown. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But, but what if they just flood their YouTube page with content that didn't have nothing to do with Atlanta? I guarantee you a lot of them wouldn't go viral. Right, exactly. Because Atlanta is Because they, they're capitalizing at. off of the content. And then it's like, not only do they capitalize off the content, it's like they'll put you on the platform and make you look stupid. Mm. Make you incriminate yourself. Won't edit it out. Won't tell you like, oh, I'm gonna take this part out. This might not be good. They throw you right off the cliff, and then now you indicted. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Just because you went to L.A. or New York to do an interview with a stranger, mm. that just want to go viral. Right. And now you you did all that to be on YouTube. Mm. On that now, note, that's Jules Jones, man. Go <laughs> introduce your new single, big dog. Hey. ATL Top 20, VVS, you know what I'm saying? The Reds to Shine, Money Man, Scotty ATL, Young Greatness, Verse Simmons, T.O. Green, Do Shine. We got eight artists on one record, produced by Twine the God, video produced by Dez Gray. There it is. Dirty Boys, I'm 7-9.